Hello, everybody. So today, GB News has reported that Prince William, His Royal Highness Prince William, has banned the Harkles and is effectively behind the banning of the Harkles from royal events, royal communications and everything. We're going to look into it. We're going to start off by looking into how Harry responds to this article because we know for a fact they are all over the internet. They are obsessed with everything that's been said about them, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, etc. So we're going to have a look and see how Harry responded. Then we're going to have a look and see if William has indeed banned them. So if you're new here, I work in layers. The first layer, I am going to do a spread for Harry. The second layer, I'm going to do a spread for Willie Yum. And then we're going to see where everything matches up and what vibes we get from the cards. As always, I'm using the Garbage Pail Kids Tarot for Harry because nothing matches Harry's energy like some petulant brats. And I am going to be using a very different tarot deck for William. And it's really beautiful. It's really, it's really, really nice. Let me get the box for you guys. It is called the Divine Art Tarot. Very posh. So, okay. So, let us have a look and see if there is any truth to this at all. And let's see how Harry feels about the story if he's read it. But start with Harry and then we'll look to William. Okay, let's have a look. Let us see where we are. So here we have Harry. Eight of coins. He feels like he needs to do some work. He wants to do some work. He wants to achieve something. Okay, that's an interesting starting point. The sun in reverse. They had something planned over this weekend, you know, to go. And something stopped them with it. And I feel like we're going to get it sooner rather than later. Meaning, of course, the Harkles. I really feel like they are they are up to ish in behind the scenes. They're, they were trying to do something. Something's been followed. They'll do something at a later date. We have the strength card in reverse of what Harry is going to be focusing on with this. Now, the strength card resonates to the fire sign of Leo and Megan is a Leo. So he will blame any of the bad stuff, any of the other stuff that is happening. He will not see it as his behavior. He still sees it as a sees it as a rebuff to Megzi. He's still that far down the the tunnel. He's still that far head in the sand. Yes, he is still that deluded. He still believes that everything is because people don't like Megzi. And it, are against Megzi. That's what he believes. He wants to do some work. He needs to do some work around this. But we have the sun crossing over. The sun in the reverse, his optimism is somewhat dwindling. He did have something planned for midsummer. I feel like we're going to get that later on. I did actually feel like with this whole midsummer thing has really triggered him. And that's not just trooping the colour, that's also including the Taylor Swift concept. So he's really been unsettled. He doesn't want to use the invisible children. Recollections may vary how they got here necessarily as a photo shoot, but he's certainly thinking of using them as leverage. Let's have a look and see what's underneath. And he feels like he's not having to defend himself again. He feels like this is an attack on him and he is going to try and defend himself as much as possible. Okay, let's see what's leaving the situation. Ace of Swords is in reverse. He has tried to communicate with the royals. He really, uh, he may have sent letters, he may have sent emails, he may have sent vibes. I don't know what he sent, but he has tried to start a new narrative with them. Unfortunately, he's been told no. The Ace of Swords, when it is in reverse, it is a no. And he has been told no. There's they've cut away something from him. So he's going to position this as people being anti megan but in all actuality, it does look like tough love. No, no, it's not happening. I am not entertaining you. Let's see what's happening next. We have got the page of wands. Okay. Let's put what's on his mind. The five of swords and what's surrounding him. The eight. Eight of Swords. Okay, so 
he is trapped. He is completely trapped. They are going to try and do a a big event, a big show off. I do think there's something coming Harkles wise. They're going to try and like da da da. Look at us, we are great. I've got a horrible feeling that they're going to try and do it in the in the typical downtime that we have for the royal family, which for me it's coming up, and it always feels like the longest thing ever. It just like oh my goodness, where are they? And it happened last year. I was like, where are the royal family? And it's August. Balmoral, it's the royal holidays. It's the royal holidays for the royal family. They, they're they not going to be about in August. So they're potentially, we're going to have a Harry and Meghan. Oh, look at us. We are amazing time in August. And he's wanting to correct a record. So there's something very creative, something big. Com I say creative in inverted commas. The dude got a D in, D in art or whatever it was. But there's something very creative coming very soon. They're going to think it's creative. They want to kind of want to start. It's going to be a very look at us energy. The Five of Swords. Harry is a little bit befuddled. He is wanting to set records straight. And he better be double checking all of his details before he does something. So I do think they are going to try and have a go at the British press for things like this, for this particular story, for instance. The Eight of Swords surrounding him, he is very much trapped. They don't know quite what way, what which way to go and how to deal with William. They think they can PR their way out of William. What they're wanting to avoid is more self-destruction. And yeah, they are gonna, he is gonna further disengage with his brother. William, thank goodness, was born first. However, this one this dude preparation h he is going to further try and be disruptive to his brother he hasn't he doesn't enjoy this he blames any negative press on basically racial issues so he's saying that she, megan has only they've only been banned because of megan because she's um biracial that that's the, what they're going to go with um and the death card there it, it does look like it does look like relationships are not going to improve anytime soon. Um, I think William's very wise to do that. But from Harry's end, and remember, Harry has very zero contacts or anything with the royals now, because especially seen, seen as Eugenie and Beatrice have decided which side of the the divide they're on. But I'm not sure about Eugenie. But that, there we go. Let me have a look at... Um, let me have a look at how William feels about Harry being banned. Has he banned? Has has William banned him? Let's have a look. Let's ask the cards. I like doing William's cards. I like doing William and Catherine's cards and the King. And it's always it's always a bit different of what comes out for the Harples, you know. The energy is just better. Six of Swords. He wants to move on from it. He's done with it. He doesn't want to hear about it. He wants to go on a journey and he wants to push things off. So he he is wanting to move on from his brother. What's crossing over him is, of course, we have got the beautiful Queen of Pentacles. I and mean, the beautiful Queen of Pentacles, of course, is in the upright. He is most concerned about Catherine out of every one of them. Out of everything, his concerns are with Catherine. Catherine is an earth sign. She is a queen of pentacles. So this is what is crossing over him. And this is what drives him the most is Catherine. Catherine being a Capricorn, of course. And he wants to protect Catherine. We have a new start. We have the fool. And underneath. We have the Ace of Wands. I think William. The answer to is that he's banned. Yes, William has banned him. We've got the Ace of Swords here. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. William has cut them out. There is no way back for the Huckles or his brother with William. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a look. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. We have the Wales children here. He is very protective of the Wales children. He doesn't, yeah, that they are not going to let. Let's see what's surrounding him. The world. There is going to be some healing coming up, I feel, with William. I really do. I think there is going to be some healing, um, especially with everything that's gone on. But I feel like he's going to heal from his brother's attacks and hurts. I feel like he's getting there right now. But that sword there, Ace of Swords upright, he's cut his brother away. And, and Harry has lost with the Ace of Swords in reverse there. They are completely done the ten of wands he wants a burden lifted he just wants he wants them off ski and there we have the three of pentacles working with other people working with he's gonna have William is gonna have some connections more with America as we go forward um there is going to be some healing. There is some healing coming in for William right at the same time that um, this one tries to do something. We have got Diana's birthday coming up. So I wonder if Megatron and Harry are going to try and do something around Diana's birthday. That's the 1st of July. But William does something. Authenticity. Now, authenticity is the highest vibration, right? And that's where I get a lot of <laughs> all of my all of my haters out there will be like, oh my God, you're too cheeky. Oh my God, you're too this, you're too that. Da, da, da. Listen, I'm myself, and authenticity is the highest vibration. I'm not trying to be anyone else. I don't want in anyone else's bag. I don't want anyone else's thing. I'm just me. And I think William is very authentic too as is Catherine the real problem that people have with Megatron is they can see she's not authentic that that that's the that is the thing that authenticity is the highest vibration speak your truth speak it well if you're engaging with people who are absolute numpties just move on just move on there's no point and I feel like this is what William is doing. I really feel like this is what William is doing here. He's broken away from completely, they are different, different men. William is a statesman, a father, and a very much adored member of the Royal, British royal family. Harry is want to be a statesman. Father, we don't know because the kids' recollections may vary how many they are and how they got here. And he's involved with Better Up and all these dodgy things and African parks and it 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 just it just sits different, doesn't it? It really does. William wants rid of him. He's got a burden lifted here. The ten of wands is in reverse. Is oh, it will someone relieve me of this dumb prince? I feel like the dumb prince is going to keep dumb princing and he's going to make his own star shine duller and duller and duller and by extension Megzi's and Megzi is going to make their star shine duller but she doesn't expect she doesn't accept any responsibility she will just blame Harry and the royals while Harry blames himself and the royals William wants a complete new star I feel like we're going to come into this new era yeah with William becoming more and more visible i feel like he's gonna be starting to take more and more roles on from the king going forward we're going to see a lot more of william a lot a lot more of william with politicians with whoever um i think that's what we've got coming up for it but they're on the holidays first so expect silly season from the markles but it's only July yet, and we've got a general election in the UK to get through first. 
so that would be fun and then there'll be there'll be a bit of nonsense through july and then and then it's balmoral holidays so i bet the royals can't wait that is what i see in the cards i don't think harry's got a way back in with william at all and i think william is completely done to him and the real reasons are the what his wife the queen of pentacles there and his children the cups in reverse the children of cups in reverse and it really is all about protecting his children and protecting his wife so there we go thank you very much for joining me for this reading i hope you've enjoyed it um and i hopefully see you again soon for another one bye everyone <laughs>